Hello, this is Cheryl, and I'm going to do another artist chat with Richard McMurray. Now, Richard is a friend, an artist friend of mine. I've uh, known him for about four years now, and we've done several uh, shows together and pop-up shows, and he's primarily an oil painter. But what he brought to me was a problem with painting on... Um, gradations with acrylics. He's using acrylics on his G clays and we talk further on in this discussion on the G clays and why he uses G clays and we talked about why I use G clays and how he paints over them and I learned something from him when he said that I think it was like 80-85% if you paint it over a G-clay, it now becomes an original. So it was a very interesting conversation. But his dilemma, and he brought the products he was using, was he was trying to take several of the colors and the acrylics with a matte medium and some other mediums were drying out too quickly and the gradation of the two colors just weren't coming across as beautiful as he wanted them to come across. So he brought the painting to me, the G-clay to me, showed me the problem, and I looked at it, and based off of um, my using the glazing medium, with there's one with Liquitex and Golden, I said, let's try that. And so we did, and so this is just a chat of where um, he used the glazing medium on a sample canvas and the conclusion was he felt that that was the answer to his dilemma. So let's get on with the interview. I hope this is um, something of interest to you and if anything you get a chance to meet Richard McMurray. Let's just talk about that last conversation about when you were telling me about the G-clay. You get the G-clay and it has a coating already on it like a gloss coating already on it. It should. When a guy yeah. gives you a G-clay, he should give you um, some sort of medium. He usually gives me a matte medium like this. Okay. He coats it with a matte medium. And I tend to take that and I'll give it a gloss medium, just that's yeah. the way I particularly do things. That's mm -hmm. my particular way I do it. But occasionally he's given me just a blank G-clay if he's in a hurry yeah. and said, would you mind putting a coat on it? So when I get it home, immediately just coat it with that. Yeah. I think the interesting thing that you said was when it's like 90%, if you've painted over at 90%, you can call it original yeah. painting. Yeah, that's interesting. Because yeah, I know a lot of artists now are mo moving more towards using um, G clays. Because companies, it's not like it was, you know, 10 years ago where the prints were not quality. Yeah. A lot of the prints are coming out really quality now. Well, the whole thing about a G clay is. And this has happened. I've sold the original. It's history years ago. And I'm still right. selling it because I can make G-clays. But when you make a G-clay, you paint mm -hmm. over it. This is not a limited edition because it's not exactly the same. So you don't have to call it a limited edition. Yeah. So if you do a limited edition on, on a beautiful watercolor paper, if you want, you probably should do one of 100, yeah. one of 20, two of 20. But when you do each picture separately, that's not really a limited edition because yeah. they're all different. Well, one thing that's interesting is, um, like on your particular, let me move this up so I can see your face, because you're tall. I can sit down if you like. Yeah, sit back down so I can see your painting. Uh. One of the things that's interesting is, like, would you ever paint the canvas and then take the dog out and put a cat in? Oh, I've done that thing like that many times. Yeah, so that completely changes the whole painting. Absolutely. Especially there. if somebody wants their specific dog in there. <laughs> yeah. There's no rule. There's no. There's no lawyer is going to come up to you at your booth where you're selling something or in the gallery and say, "Hey, you know these don't match. What are you doing here?" There's, yeah. you, you can actually, uh, when you do a uh, paint over G clay, you could paint over it with acrylics. You can mm -hmm. alter it. You can paint over it with oils. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've been experimenting with that. I'm doing re retouching G clays with oils, and uh -huh. I'm adding things. I'm taking things mm -hmm. out. Uh, but you never do the oil and acrylic together. Like the fat over lean thing. Well, actually, yes. I've gotten G clays where I've started on acrylic oh. and continue with oil. So that's okay. okay. They just say don't do the opposite. Don't okay. paint oil and acrylics on top. So I have a few Or could you do sections, like section with oil and section yes. with acrylic? Yeah, that well, would be interesting because they do have a slightly different look in how the paint gets on the canvas. Slightly. Well, this one here, 
I was considering, uh, well, this is all I've done mm -hmm. this with acrylics. Now this, I was thinking about this section doing with oils because of the blending issue, mm -hmm. which I don't seem to have an issue anymore, thanks to you. Oh. But I was going to do all of this in acrylic and this one section, do it in oil. But the right. problem is with that, oils take about three months to cure. Yes, and you need these for a show. I have a show coming up on the 22nd. I can't yeah. just let it just sit there, not, you know, I. Can I uh, use a little bit of Yeah, gamma? I squirted some out right here. So this is cool stuff. What is this? Uh, is this like a. Uh, what? It's like. It's just like a. It's like a glazing. Um, I think it's a lot lighter and a lot silkier than the matte medium. And it's meant for blending. Really? As opposed to what you're using. It seemed to have a nice viscosity. It seems like... Oh, I forgot to bring a rag. Do you, do you have a paint rag? Yep. Cheryl. I have paper towel, too. <clears throat> You can use this. Oh. I use that, the. Uh, brand new rag. That's okay. It's you sure? Brand new. Yeah, I use the paper, these um, construction paper towels too. Let me use one of those instead. I don't want to yeah. dirty up here. I, I love using those because they're real sturdy. I use those actually in construction, in painting. See, I have a retarder. Now, I've used the retarder before. Yeah, I, I don't. I haven't had much luck. Yeah, I don't really like it. <clears throat> Retarded, it tends to be sticky. Okay, here's Golden's glazing. Mm -hmm. So there's, I have Liquitex and I have Golden's, but I use Liquitex a lot, so that's why I pulled that out first. Mm -hmm. think of anything to use I would think that I do yeah so well maybe you can uh, you know this is a, a kind of a freaky a special problem that I'm, I don't know if many people run into because we have two radiations here and here Maybe I, it's just the glaze I'm using that's just not right because the stuff I use just does not work. How's mm. that feel? This, uh, this has a different texture and I kind of, I kind of like it. Uh, and it takes a while for it to dry. I mean, it dries fast, of course, like acrylics, but. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, here's a couple tools just out of Well that looks nice. Is that This is better than what I was using and this doesn't seem to be It's not as probably as thick as what you were using. Yeah. So whatever it's, it's, I'm having a lot better results here, and I think it's because of this glaze, this this stuff here. I think this is the uh, might be the answer. Okay. See, the problem is I was trying to do all these at once, like a mass production. I'd right. Do one bar. And it would dry too fast. It would dry too fast. So it looks like <clears throat> what I'll have to do is do these individually. Because if a uh, original sells or the artist doesn't want to sell the original, but they want to have the um, painting because it's a beautiful painting, a lot of people will do a print and then people still want it to look like yes. acrylics or look like um, hand hand done. They want, they want not only a surface, but actually to have it repainted. And when, often when you get a print, the colors 
and the print may be muted or dull. So. Yes, and a lot of times it's a pixelation yes. or, yeah, so, yeah. So this, I do, I've done that a lot. So, um, so I'm basically doing is making, making it colorful. It's almost like taking a uh, coloring book mm -hmm. and adding color to it. So you kind of create it. And often when you do a print, it comes out much nicer than the original. Yeah, that's... I've always used uh, just the matte medium and the gloss medium. That's yeah, I think it. it's heavier. I think those are heavier. So this... And that those are meant more of like a glue. Yes. So they may dry faster while you're working with them. That's the because problem I'm I, Yeah, I use those when I want to, you know, glue things together. Yeah. I use this when I want to make the paints more uh, mix mix them up or um, I'll even use it like on my canvas when you see where you can see the paint has kind of gotten dull mm -hmm. this will make it pop more on the canvas. Well, I think that's the issue. What I was using is drying too fast and it's too thick. I was even talking thinking about taking tape putting it on here and using a spray can and spraying it getting a gradation but then again you wouldn't have that nice hand painted look. That would look more like a spray painting. Yeah. So I think really the answer, I think we solved it right here. I think. So look at the difference between that and that. See? Yeah. I think this became very sticky, too quick. It's sticky too quick. And uh, I, I never thought I thought the answer would be so easy. That's look at that. Compare that to that. Yeah. Total think, difference. Yeah. So that you can all, you, you can't, it doesn't even look like it's, it's blending. Now, I don't know what it will do on the difference between a canvas and this. I think it'd almost be easier on this surface. Well, yeah, well, it kind it's of... Because it's grabbing on there. I would think it'd even be easier. Yeah, because that's actually, when I get a, a, a print like that, I always give it a, a coat of uh, glaze. I always give it a varnish mm -hmm. anyway. Because when you get a G clay like that, it's too dry, and it'll, it'll just like a, oh. it's like when you paint a house, it soaks it up, and yeah. it does weird stuff, it doesn't blend. So I've already given this a coat of uh, a glaze yeah. already, and that way it kind of, it does, mm -hmm. it makes it a little smoother. So yeah. so you think that this glazing medium is going to be your, your ticket? You yes, think, I think okay. this glaze is what really solved the problem. Cause All right. Well, I'm glad we were able, you know, that's what's so fun about um, working together with other artists is, you know, we're not going to try everything ourselves. And it's nice to have other artists. And it's nice to have a problem that you can talk to another artist about Absolutely. And, and fix it. When I went to art school up in Boston, I learned more from the other students than I did the instructors. Oh, Yeah. One particular, one particular student I learned more from than the instructors. Mm -hmm. But one, one great thing to learn when you do this thing is, is the technical aspect of mm -hmm. it. Because when you paint, we're talking about a kind of science. And it's more than just, you know, putting nice colors on. You have to know your textures. Like this is a particular medium mm -hmm. and it works in a particular way. So there, there really is a a craftsmanship to this. Mm -hmm. So when you do a painting, it's not just beautiful. There's a real craft to it. So anyway. Again, what we did was we were, he had used, it was the matte medium and like a retarder, nothing worked. So we just worked on uh, blending and it was acrylics. So what we did was we use a glazing medium because it is a, slightly um, lighter material than the matte medium and the quality of the glazing medium is of such that it has a, a blending like component to it and so i think we solve richard's problem yes not only did we have a good blend this way the edges are soft also okay and if i had used tape to do this or okay. some sort of spray thing, mm -hmm. you'd get a hard edge and that would not look, it wouldn't be consistent with the rest of the painting. Okay. Well, good. Well, cool. Just, well, good. I'm glad. Let me, let me wash my brushes here. Yep. I have a, let me turn this off. So